up and asked us to do something that we wouldn't otherwise do. Asked us to do something, be something for the ourselves or for somebody else that we know we wouldn't have the wherewithal within ourselves to do but for the but for the grace of God, but for the strength of God, but for the spirit of God. Can you say amen? amen. Hebrews 11 recounts the, the, the stories of countless men and women who throughout history exhibited unwavering faith in God. You know, as I began to, to, to prepare just a word today and and Lord, here I go off on a, on a tangent here, but listen, I had to pray and ask God. I said, God, I've been here two measly years at this church, and I don't feel confident or competent to stand and speak about 150 years of faithfulness. I said, God, give me a long memory. God, just stretch back the resources of my mind, the recesses of my mind, and help me to look back and see. The, all the milestones and all the wonderful things that you have brought me through. You know, we need a long memory in order to be faithful. Okay? Because with short memories, all we do is just look back to yesterday and we forget about all the wonderful things that God has done in our lives. Lord, look at your neighbor and tell Lord, give me a long memory. Lord, give me a long memory. A long memory. I want to speak to you about the witness of faith and not just a long memory to put in the annals of time to write down in a journal, but a long memory in order that we might recount, recall, and recite the faithfulness of God in our lives. Yes, yes, amen. These people in Hebrews, they face trials, they face challenges, they face all kinds of uncertainty, yet they clung to their faith. And as the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of the things that they had not yet seen. And their lives became a living testimony, a witness to the incredible power of faith. And as we celebrate and bring this celebration to a close of 150 years, we can draw inspiration from these heroes and these sheroes of their unwavering faith. And this is the same kind of faith that's been a part of our legacy here at Gaines United Methodist Church for 150 years. These, these testimonies in the book of Hebrews, your testimonies, my testimonies, remind us that our faith is not just a system of beliefs, right? It's not just a religious practice, but it, can, it has been and it continues to be this dynamic force, right? It is this, 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 it is this living, breathing, spiritual life force that enables us to, 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 to stand in today and it enables us to go on to tomorrow. It enables us to look back over yesterday, but not hang on to the things that may have brought us down. It gives us the strength to go on. This faith gives us hope in times of hopelessness and deliverance from all that oppresses us, oppresses us. And like our ancestors before us, our faith is rooted in and it is and it is it rests entirely upon the everlasting goodness and faithfulness of God. Of God. And so today we give witness to the faith that has sustained us. God's faithfulness has been a rock of defense in my life. I don't know about yours. God's faithfulness has been a stone of stability because I continue to be a little wayward in my life. I haven't always been a pastor. I haven't always Okay, I guess I'm just I know that God has been the very foundation of faith upon which not only the church is built, but our lives are built upon. You see, we are the ecclesia. We are the called out ones. We are the church. We live and move and have our being in and through Jesus Christ, who gave his life for the church, who birthed the church through his death, burial, and resurrection. And so the Lord, the psalmist said, he kind of humble shy out, has been our dwelling place, right? In every generation, in his enduring love, Love has sustained us through every season of our journey. Can I get a witness out there about the enduring faithfulness and love of God in Jesus Christ? 
Our witness of faith has been historical here, has been told by the vice mayor, has been testified by different ones in the congregation, generation after generation after generation. For 15 decades, the people of Gaines have continued to gather and worship and, and, uh, and practice our faith. You see, the Lord has been mindful for us. Uh, mindful of us during this time and he has blessed us and we just believe he's going to keep on blessing us despite the changing times right despite the challenges despite the societal ills that we encounter on any given day we are going to continue to trust in the lord because that same god who brought those who are in this hall of faith back back in, that we read in hebrew is, is going to bring us forward as well you see, our historical witness highlights the importance of those who have walked this path before us. As we gather today, we are mindful of the generations, right, who have walked before us. Those who have knelt in prayer, praying for this day, praying for the salvation of those who are yet confessing Christ this day. The, uh, uh, we, 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 are, we are looking back at, at those who were singing songs of praise unto the Lord for all of the wonderful things yeah. that he has done. You know, friends, it's no small thing to give praise unto God. Amen. It is no small thing to give praise unto God. I praise him every chance I get because he's just that good. He's just that, uh, that good. And you see, there are witnesses their witness underscores the commitment of this faith community to preserve and pass on the legacy of faith to future generations. So, what's our task? What's our role today? We, the current community of Gaines, I want you to know we are writing the next 150 years of the history of gains, and we're writing the next 150 years with our lives. The Bible says we're like walking epistles that can be read of men, right? Testifying to the goodness and the grace of God and the faithfulness of God. We see, we know that the Lord is good and his faithfulness endures through all generations. We know the Lord is not slack concerning his promises. And so we run on to see what the end's going to be. We run on with endurance, knowing that God is going to be faithful. Our witness of faith has also not only been historical, but it's been spiritual. It's been spiritual. This place has not only been a place of worship and a place of prayer, it's also been a, a place where people have grown spiritually. Yeah. It's been a place where yeah. people have been delivered from, from, the, from the burdens and even, I dare I say, the demons that have, have, have had a chokehold on our lives, right? Some who have started their journey at games are starting to make their way back because it is a place they call home. It is a place that they remembered. There was a stone of remembrance laid up in all of these stones here that we see around us, these bricks and stones. There's a stone of remembrance of where they met God or where God met them in a time of trouble or conflict in their lives. So over the last 15 years, Gaines has played a significant role in the spiritual lives of its members. And, and um, so bearing witness to the spiritual growth, to the faith journeys, and the spiritual experiences that have happened here within these walls. And we just have enough faith to believe that the one who, 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 who began that faith, right? The one who, who, who created that faith in those individuals and, and within our lives is going to be faithful to complete the work until the day of Jesus Christ. Can you say amen? amen.